this, this process has quite take some time because there was a lot uh, to, to look into. As cabinet has directed the two ministries of labor and fisheries to do a transparent bidding process, we went through the process. As you know, this process has been started already uh, last year, uh, at the end of last year, at the 7th of December, the bidding process closed down. There was um, seven companies that was earmarked, uh, not earmarked, that was selected and uh, have uh, fulfilled um, all the recommendations, all the, the, the requirements that was needed from them. Uh, we went to cabinet, cabinet gave the approval that we can continue with the process and we went to the Attorney General to look into the contracts and the Attorney General find all about board and that uh, we can continue signing with the companies. The, the date of employment for the workers in the agreement they have been signed with the workers will be 1st of July and the Ministry of Fisheries will grant fishing quotas as of from 1st of July to this company. So yes, if the workers didn't get paid on 31st of July, uh, when the companies have done all their due diligence and employment, then they will start paying the workers back their wage as of 1st of July. Uh, we are here again in Wolfies Bay uh, as a continuation of the of our signing agreements with the companies that has volunteered to assist our, our unemployed fishermen, those who got involved in the illegal strike, as you may recall, the Okapale saga. We have been assist with this uh, very, very important exercise so that we get our people off the streets uh, in uh, Wolfies Bay and also to work hard so that we improve sound labor relations in the fishing sector. Just we are happy that we are almost completing this very important exercise and we would like to urge the workers really to seize the opportunity and uh, take their work seriously because uh, they should not forget that uh, they were involved in an illegal strike that was not sanctioned by the laws of the Republic of Namibia, but out of the goodwill and the decision by cabinet that instructed the Minister of Fisheries to make sure that the people get employed so that they can look after their families, their children. The, we want the companies to work in good faith according to the agreement so that in, they implement the agreement as it is sanctioned by the office of the attorney general the two ministry for a job well done it is always better to give credit where it is due uh, it was not an easy move but patient pays off at the end of the day and i want to inform the nation that uh, Bear with uh, the ministries because it is now time that the light at the end of the tunnel has started shining and that we are happy that our workers who are going to benefit from here and as well as the employers that Rome was not built in one day and workers to learn also to be patient and to give time to the company to grow. I want to thank also our government for adhering to the cry of the nation. I think this type of things of Okapade will be come to an end and everybody will be able to put bread on the table to support their families and so that we can go forward. We know it's not the end of the day. It's not all of them who have been that out there without employment but they must be patient because the Minister of Fisheries, Minister of Labor have done everything in their power to try and rescue the situation.